Frank Sinatra loved many women during his life, but few of his affairs or marriages meant as much to the man as the fiery and passionate relationship he shared with actress Ava Gardner. What started out as an extramarital affair eventually turned into a marriage, though it was one that didn't quite last as long as either party hoped. Still, the two maintained feelings for each other until their deaths. Join Factsverse as we explore the affair that ended Frank Sinatra's marriage. Frank Sinatra was already an established star when he first set eyes on Ava Gardner. It's been said Frank saw the young actress in a magazine and proclaimed to those around him he was going to marry her. This came in spite of the fact that Frank was already married with children. Frank married his first wife in 1939 and met Ava in the early 40s. Though the older gentleman's obnoxious advances were initially off-putting to Ava, she was eventually won over by their shared interests and flaws. Frank continued his pursuit of Ava over the course of the decade, not finding much luck until around 1948. That year, the two began spending a fair amount of time together. Their public appearances started drawing attention from their peers as well as onlookers in the media. Ava had been married and divorced twice, once to Mickey Rooney and another time to legendary band leader Artie Shaw. Frank had been married to his first wife for nearly a decade. His first wife was Nancy Barbato, and they had three children together, including Nancy Jr. The affair between Frank and Ava was certainly neither party's first. Frank had been previously embroiled in a notorious affair with Lana Turner. His affair with Lana was one he would later reignite when he was married to Ava. Frank and Ava shared a common love for many things, including alcohol, music, and making love. They were also both emotionally volatile, often getting into intense public arguments about trivial matters. As their relationship grew more passionate, it became harder for the couple to hide their extramarital relations. Their peers began to take notice, and the tabloids followed. In 1950, a photo that had been taken of Frank and Ava together at the London Palladium began circulating in newspapers and magazines. These exposés not only affected Frank's reputation amongst his largely conservative fan base, but also caused the singer a good bit of trouble at home. Frank and Nancy announced their separation on Valentine's Day that same year, though they weren't officially divorced until 1951. It was with a heavy heart that Nancy Barbato agreed to allow Frank the divorce, though the two maintained a healthy relationship as friends, as well as co-parents of their three children, until Frank's death many decades later. Frank would subsequently get married three more times, including to Ava Gardner. Frank and Nancy were officially divorced at the end of October 1951, and Frank and Ava were married by the end of the year. There was a ceremony in Pennsylvania, but it came with a bad omen. The day before the wedding, Ava received a letter from a prostitute who claimed she had been sleeping with Frank for several months. Though Ava was never sure whether to believe the letter or not, it did leave her entering into the marriage with a fair bit of uncertainty. After all, Frank had a history of adultery. Frank and Ava's relationship was volatile even before their marriage began. In August of 1951, the two had been staying at Lake Tahoe when Frank attempted to take his life as a result of an argument the couple had been having. Frank took a handful of sleeping pills after drinking several glasses of champagne, though he was resuscitated by Ava before he died. Frank would go on to attempt suicide a few more times over the course of their relationship. Not far into their marriage, Frank and Ava had seemingly come to terms with the fact that neither party was completely faithful. Ava had various one-night stands, and Frank allegedly hooked back up with his former flame, Lana Turner. Some speculate Frank did this to spite Ava for her infidelities, though it seems more likely that Frank simply wanted infidelities of his own. The pair continued their alcohol-fueled marriage for years, and a great more drama followed. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. In 1953, Ava was filming a movie called Mogambo in Africa. She invited Frank to visit her and had some news to tell him. She had become pregnant, and she believed the baby was Frank's. Frank was overjoyed, but Ava wasn't so sure. Later, Ava flew to London and had the child aborted without Frank's knowledge. This broke Frank's heart and dealt a blow to the couple's marriage that it would never recover from. After filming wrapped on Mogambo, Ava ventured off to Spain without Frank. She was apparently on a mission to seduce the country's most popular bullfighter, a man named Luis Miguel Domingan. Ava had cheated on Frank plenty of times before, but this marked the first occasion she didn't come back. Within a year, Ava filed for divorce. Upon learning this, Frank slit his wrists. This may not have been the first time Frank attempted suicide as a means of coping with his relationship, but it was the first time that Ava wasn't by his side when he woke up. Frank finally agreed to the divorce in 1957, after making numerous attempts to win Ava back. One of the most notable attempts was his 1957 concept album, Where Are You? 
While Frank's separation from his first wife had dehumanized him in the eyes of many of his fans, the separation from Ava had the opposite effect. The tabloids were viciously cruel to Frank as the singer attempted to recuperate from his heartbreak. This had the unintentional effect of making the star seem human again. The 1950s also saw Frank successfully venture into dramatic acting, having won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for 1953's From Here to Eternity. Although Frank and Ava were officially divorced in 1957, the relationship didn't end there. The two kept in contact over the years and continued to view each other as friends. Frank attempted to rekindle the flame between them in 1965. He was filming a movie called Von Ryan's Express in Rome and had been offered the chance to stay in a beautiful villa by the feature's production team. While there, Frank sent an invitation for Ava to come stay with him. Though she accepted, she did so only as friends. Although Ava had been the one to initiate the divorce, many have come to believe that the separation from Frank negatively affected her as much as it did him. She began increasingly escaping into alcohol and was greatly aged upon their 1965 reunion. Frank had a hard time dealing with the sight of his former love struggling with alcohol abuse. Frank remarried twice after divorcing Ava. He married actress Mia Farrow in 1966. Mia was nearly 30 years younger, and their relationship didn't last long. When Mia skipped out of a co-starring role alongside Frank so she could star in Rosemary's Baby, Frank subsequently served her with divorce papers. Several years later, he married his fourth and final wife. He married Barbara Marks in 1976, and the two remained together until Frank's death two decades later. Despite the fact this turned out to be his longest marriage, Barbara never got along with Frank's kids. Barbara infamously kept Frank's kids out of the loop during his final days, making very few efforts to call and inform them their father was on his deathbed. Despite the fact that Frank technically moved on, he never truly forgot about Ava. He sent her a bouquet of flowers every year after their divorce until her death in early 1990. Ava had previously suffered from a stroke and had lost the ability to speak, but that didn't stop Frank from calling her on the phone sometimes and speaking enough for the both of them. It was reported Frank called Ava a lot during her final days, though Ava wasn't able to speak back. Ava passed away January 25, 1990. She was 67. Frank died a little over eight years later. He had suffered a heart attack in 1997, after which he stopped making public appearances. He suffered from numerous other health problems in his final days, including high blood pressure, bladder cancer, and pneumonia. And it was believed his many years of taking antidepressants had caused some symptoms that resembled dementia. All these issues came to a head in 1998 when Frank was taken to a medical center in Los Angeles. He passed away at the age of 82. Now it's time to hear from you. Comment down below to share if you think there's another Frank Sinatra romance that deserves to be talked about, or if Frank and Ava were truly the loves of each other's lives. And be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.